Hey guys, Spider-Bot here, and if you uh, saw from last week, there was an announcement of a new title coming, uh, the next title in uh, the Medal of Honor series called Medal of Honor Warfighter. So I thought I'd go back and and play some Medal of Honor multiplayer, and there were a whopping 790 people online playing last night, uh, Medal of Honor. And I gotta say, I did a, a complete uh, walkthrough Oh, there's me panic knifing. I did a complete walkthrough of the Medal of Honor campaign in, uh, it was uh, to that, towards the end of 2010. And the campaign, I gotta tell you, the campaign I thought was pretty stellar. Um, so, from what, like, new details have actually emerged, and that's why I'm doing this video. I know it was, the title itself was announced last week, but uh, there's more, there are more details that have been posted uh, at MP First, and I'm gonna provide you a link in the description. But uh, I thought... Why don't I, I come back and, and, and record some gameplay on uh, Medal of Honor multiplayer and uh, let you know about some of the details. Now, as far as the multiplayer itself in Medal of Honor, I thought I thought it was pretty good. I, I know there are things wrong with it. I know there are a bunch of things wrong with it. But it's a pretty solid base for these guys to work with, um, especially, and again, some details, for, they're going to be using Frostbite too. Uh, it's not going to be DICE doing the multiplayer. Danger Close, which who did the campaign in the original Medal of Honor, and DICE did the multiplayer in, in this Medal of Honor. Uh, Danger Close is going to do both. And I really thought, I, I really liked the gameplay in the single player. There were some, uh, there were some elements to it, and I think part of it was like a, a sprinting cover system, if I recall. And uh, my favorite, my favorite was the buddy boost. <laughs> If if you ever if you haven't seen the the campaign videos I did go take a look cuz uh, like I said I thought it was really good and I can't remember the name the, the name of the guy who's, who's going to be back cuz they're going to be bringing some of the uh, the same characters back uh, from the original Medal of Honor that I did get the platinum trophy on by the way just saying just saying so uh, anyway some of the details uh, so it's going to be developed by Danger Close both the single and multiplayer they're going to be using Dice's Frostbite 2 so hopefully they can improve upon it, and um, you know from Battlefield Three, and and make it make it a little more entertaining. I thought the um, some of the map the maps uh, the map design was uh, could have been improved, could have been improved uh, improved um, in the original Medal of Honor. So let's hope they do that. And oh man, I got taken out. Damn it! I was trying to get uh, the score chain going. Um, okay, so in the campaign, uh, the story continues to be about Tier 1 operators, as it was for a Medal of Honor. Uh, they're actually looking for a release in October 2012, so that's uh, about a full two, two years uh, following the release of uh, the original Medal of Honor. The story is also written by Tier 1 operators and loosely follows actual events and operators, which again, I think was the same with uh, Medal of Honor. And they're working with uh, 24 of these operators for information and feedback. Um, and they were quite happy. These guys were quite happy with uh, the original Medal of Honor, right? and you know you can tell why. So here's some uh, some minor campaign information, and uh, some of this might include spoilers for you. But um, oh, dude, I friggin' I th oh man, I tried to knife that guy. You saw me pull up the knife there. So um, some of the campaign, besides just the missions, the game's plotline will focus on, on some of the personal issues that uh, these operators face. Uh, the main characters of the previous game return. Yes! Not that there was uh, a huge character development in Medal of Honor, but it wasn't bad. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, what else? Uh, again, based on real events. One of the missions takes place in Isabella's... There, there might be spoilers here, by the way, just saying. Uh, it takes place in Isabella City in the Philippines after it's been flooded by a typhoon, creating a Venice-like scenario with knee-high water. Um... So it, this is kind of a a, um, a push on uh, on Call of Duty or a, a little uh, yeah I don't know what you call it but uh, <laughs> it's based on real events. They don't want the game to feel like a Michael Bay movie, so you won't see see things like the Eiffel Tower exploding or falling down. <laughs> um, but since it is Frostbite 2, you'll uh, see things like the level chipping apart. Papers flying, chandeliers swinging, and other things that are more plausible in the combat situation. Uh, you'll get multiple choices sometimes. So uh, during a hostage res rescue uh, for a breach, you can either kick the door in, you can see for it, you can throw a grenade in, you can use a flashbang. And uh, the idea is that this will presumably change how the next part plays out for you. 
Um, and then, uh, what else? So, one of the biggest differences between the game's campaign and other Modern Warfare shooters will again be tonal. So if you're wondering if you will like the game's campaign, ask yourself if you want a more polished, improved version of Medal Honor 2010. And I say to that, yeah, that would be awesome. Because, like I said, I thought the campaign for uh, for this game was was absolutely fantastic. So, And I didn't see that guy. But uh, but like I said, the uh, I played a few games. This is uh, obviously like a team deathmatch. I did play some objective games. But again, I, I just think that uh, some of the map design was, was kind of poor. The two maps we ended up playing on for the objective games were like... They weren't even... Well, they're probably two, the two smallest maps. I didn't even see the guy. I don't know why I didn't look there. But they were like the two smallest maps. And it, it wasn't even so bad. It's just that on those maps... I mean, the one map was even a little bit larger. But the problem is that you can try and take these routes around, around the map. Um, but in certain positions, it always brought you to the center of the map. So there was always that constricted area that you had to run through that the enemy team just... You know, they, they can't, and rightly so, I mean, they camp it out, right? So they, they watch those, um, they watch those constricted areas, and, and that's, that's it. And, and you don't really have much of a chance on offense. Um, and the defensive players in some of these maps can almost walk right into your spawn. Um, so there, there are a lot of issues like that. I think the, uh, I think there were some issues with the snipers as well. May I try putting this, uh, so I did get a score chain reward with the, uh, the mortar. But uh, then, oh man, we, we take each other out there. So, so am I looking forward to it? Absolutely. Am I going to play it? Absolutely. Am I going to platinum trophy it? Probably. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So October 2012, uh, looking forward to it. And I'm hoping that uh, they do make a lot of improvements on the uh, on the uh, the multiplayer. And I do hope they keep the score chain uh, rewards because I think it's pretty cool. Um, but at the same time. You know, you gotta prevent prevent the camping, and that was uh, the one the one map, the one multiplayer map where you're in the uh, it's like a winter map, and uh, the original sp like the initial spawn, uh, yeah, and I didn't un uh, like fortunately I didn't have to play that map, but that one map like you get snipers just sitting in the spawn, just sitting there the whole game, and that's really unfortunate. Um, I mean, they do get some score chain rewards because of that, but. Uh, hopefully they can tweak that so you don't have as much camping um, in the next Medal of Honor. So uh, what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy Medal of Honor? Are you going to uh, look forward to the uh, the next Medal of Honor Warfighter? <coughs> uh, and some of those details. Uh, and also, the one other thing is there's going to be co-op. And I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, there's going to be a co-op mode, and it's going to be separate from the campaign. So honestly, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, I'll check them out. Spider Bites out. Hey guys, subscribe or follow us over at NGT Minecraft where we're chronicling the day-by-day -day construction of the G2PO Minecraft server. We'll also be announcing community events where we invite all you guys in to explore with us.